Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel. I'm here with another tutorial from series of Alama AI. And if you remember before, we discussed how you can install Olama AI in your environment and how you can use it without internet because it, it's possible to use on your local machine without connecting to internet. So I do understand the difficulty of the using the CMD. Also from the look and feel, maybe it's not uh, right or uh, correct uh, idea. So in this regard, I would like to teach you how you can use Olama AI in similar platforms like a ChatGPT and others. If you are interested in this topic, please stay with me until end and let's get started. First of all, you would need to install the Docker desktop. So in that, in this regard, you would need to search uh, Googling Docker desktop and it will direct you to uh, the one page like this. And if you click on get start and then come to learn how to install the Docker and you can see here, scroll down, you will see install Docker desktop. You can install for Mac, Windows or Linux. So my case was Windows. In that case, I uh, I will download the for Windows part. So you can see the Docker desktop for Windows. So you would need to uh, download this file. Uh, for the sake of the time, I already downloaded this file. So let's jump back to the file which I have downloaded and together to install it. I'm going to run as a admin and then it will initialize okay it seems I have the current version okay yes I'm <clears throat> Installing the new version and it will start to uh, in installation. <clears throat> it will take it some uh, maybe few minutes. So I will okay. So it's asking you about the WSL2, which is necessary. And also one shortcut, okay. We would need this. So I believe it will take a few minutes to be installed. So I'm trying to, I will pause the video and if there is any uh, prompt uh, message, then I will start the, the video to go through all the messages together. Okay. Okay. It prompt the one uh, message in installation succeeded. You must log out the windows to complete installation. Probably uh, it's required to restart your windows. So if it's the case, uh, it will be restarted and then I will get back to you guys. Okay, after you restart, I have restart my system Docker component. It has been installed like this platform. And if you uh, if you have the the account on Docker component also you can use your uh, credential which I created my credential here and I connected uh, credential in or I logged in, in into my credential uh, of the docker desktop so next step is that we go to the web UI and uh, 
you can uh, googling the open web UI the first link is for open web UI and when you click on that one it will bring such this platform uh, let me just go through this one I'm not sure yeah if you didn't find just go to the home page uh, you will find this information and if you scroll down here it mentioned in installation with default configuration if Olama is on your computer use this command so if you already uh, in install the Olama because this is a this is a one uh, prerequisite of this process and this mandatory if you don't know how to install it please watch my previous video about that I will drop the link uh, in this video then you would need to copy this part and uh, go to the CMD command and drop this command okay I am in a CMD and I'm dropping this command here and it will start to complete download the several stages as you can see here now is ongoing I think it will not take a few seconds yeah it's most of them are completed so just will wait for completion of the, all this process These two files take a little bit, take time. So, oh well. Yeah, I think it's going to finish. So we can check together what is the next stage. Okay, perfect. Now everything is completed and is downloaded. So just wait some few seconds. Yes, here you go. And you can see now Open Web UI is already uh it appeared in this docker component and then you need to do some action to start if you have some uh problem with the Uh, with the port because I think my port for 3000 already occupied so I'll, I will try to uh, make the new port because this port for me is already occupied in that case I need to delete this file and make the new uh, command for 3001 if you had uh, the same problem like me you can copy this file in one notepad like here and then change this port based on your desire so I'm trying to to make it based on the new port and now you can see it's started so I'm going to refresh my local host
which here asking me about the, the credential okay I created one account based on the very very simple you need to just uh, write username and password and then uh, it will be connected if you already have it you can either if you have not just only sign up then now you can see here you have the platform based on your local machine and here in workspace you can discover You can create the several, but the model should come here directly. Okay, <clears throat> now it's working fine. Just I one time uh, stopped and run my Docker desktop, and now you can see, and again. I try to connect the local environment and you can see here uh, I have the two model and two model already are installed and let's see we can ask question So you can see that it can give you answer. And if you already installed several model on your platform, you can see different model of the Olama here and based on that, for example, uh, model also you can ask question. So it will, it will give you answer based on the different model you can see here. Uh, before it was based on the arena model and now based on the this model it gives you the answer so i'm not uh, dive deep in the details although there are many details for this platform uh, i will try to make another session regarding the explanation of the, this ui just the purpose was to how to run uh, this platform Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any question, please drop your question in comment below. And if you think something is required for uh, or missed in this tutorial, please drop uh, the message and let me know. I will uh, try to make the video about that specific point. Thank you again and see you in next uh, next one.